Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Today I'm going to cover stainable primer. This is some awesome stuff. It's basically having a veneer in a can, a liquid veneer that you can brush onto drywall, plastic, metal, anything like that that you want and make it look like real wood because it has wood particles in it and it will accept stain. What I want to do now is show you exactly how to use this and prepare it so you get the perfect look every time. But I'm going to show you right here how you can make drywall look like wood and I'll show you how to pull grain and how to get this prepped right. You'll want to make sure to mix this up properly. Do not take and just shake it a little bit and expect it to be mixed up properly. If you don't mix it up properly, you, you will have inconsistent stain on there. You'll have light and dark spots or little spots in different areas. So you'll stir it and make sure you cover everything from the bottom to the top and just keep stirring. These two pieces right here have one coat on them a piece. And I didn't go real, real heavy. I just brushed it on like this. And you'll see in a minute how we do it on a fresh piece. But I want to take this and I'm going to stain it. And then this one I'm going to show you how to pull green. So let's get this prepared. I have some dark stain right here. This is a dark walnut. And I really like the color that, that it gives when it's stained. So let's go ahead and take this and... What I'll do is I'll just rub it on and you'll see how easily it covers. So you could take this and put it on your wall for Wayne's coat, smooth your drywall out, put this on it and then trim it out and it'll look like Wayne's coat. You can really get nice looks with it. You see this little area right here? Look how you have lighter and darker uh, streaks in here and that's what you want. This brush is going to help you get that. When you put your brush on like this, it's going to leave little lines and those tiny lines will give you that wood look, that hardwood look. When you want to pull grain, you put a first coat, let it dry, come back and put your second coat and that's the coat that you want to put the grain on and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's real easy to do. There's a graining tool that doesn't cost much money. You can get it at online or or at your neighborhood hardware store and they know what a graining tool is if you ask for it. You take this tool and you can make all types of grain with it or the grain look. You see how these circles go this way right here and it gives you a, a it's a pattern if you set it right down it'll look like rings on a tree and that's what it's made for. You take it on one side you pull it and you can roll it up and down. You see how it gives that grain look? If you really don't want a heavy grain, if you just want some light spots here and there, you can brush some of it out. It's really easy to do. You just lightly hit it. Then when you let this dry, you'll see those ringlets. On the back side you have teeth, so I can take this and flip it and just drag little teeth down there and get tiny little lines. and that will give you a hardwood look too. If you mess up, that's all you do. You brush it right out. Okay, if I want just a little bit on the edge, I can pull just a little on the edge. This stuff covers real well. It's thick. It goes on smooth. So, we'll just cover this up. it only take a minute. And like I said, one coat will easily cover it to where you can stain it. This over here was done with one coat. When you want to pull grain or something, like I said, that's when you'll want to use an extra coat just to give something underneath it when you're pulling that off. You can come back in an hour and recoat this.
put the first coat down there, you remember? And then I took and put a clear coat over it. So then when I came back over with the stainable primer again, I just pulled a little grain. Same with this. I put a clear coat under here. And then I pulled the grain. That way when I come and wipe my other stuff on, it won't stick to this color as much as it will on here. So I'm going to take some of this uh, um, walnut stain and I'm going to go ahead and put it on these spots right here that are my grain spots. You can take a rag and rub it, it doesn't matter, but I, I think this way might help me get, get it just on those spots that I want and, and not waste, waste too much of my stuff. So we're going to go ahead and rub that on. And I'm going to rub it off in a minute. You see how the grain, you can see the grain right there. Part of that's on tape, but when I peel it up, you'll see where it is. All right. Now I'm just going to take a rag and wipe this off. You should see it mainly staying where the stain primer, stainable primer is. You can rub this back and forth and get it in there really deep if you want. It gives you a little bit different color, it brings out the grain more the more you rub it. Let's get a little blue. We can rub that in in a minute. We can take some other colors and put in there, it doesn't matter. Alright, let me rub those out. See, it'll rub off most of it and just kind of stay on the uh, stainable primer because I have clear coat underneath there. I use polycrylic to seal them first because the stainable primer will stick onto this. This is a water based product. It sticks really well. I won't have to sand it. You know, I wanted something that I didn't have to sand. So let's take some other colors and just throw some in there. So. I prefer to use a rag. So we'll take a little bit of a, this blue here, put in there, let it go around. And we can take some other colors too and streak it. And you'll see you'll get that pretty neat little look that you, you find in old wood. These are just sample pieces of, uh, I mean, sample jars of uh, paint. So they were like a dollar a piece, a dollar something a piece. That's all you need for something like this. All right, I'm going to take a clean rag, rub it hard on there, and get a good bit of that off. Kind of whitewashes it. Now I think I'm going to take a little bit of a stain and put on there. You don't want to rub that too much. You want that stain to stay right on those spots. You can do whatever you want with this and make different looks. It's really easy to work with. This is, you don't have to have the stainable primer to do this kind of stuff, but it does make things a little easier and nicer because you can add wood colors to it, stains to it as well as paints.
Okay. I'll take those and rub them down. Smear them in and it just gives a little color. If I wanted to make this darker and more into the blacks, I'll just take a little ebony and add to that. You know, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play around with this a little bit. We'll see what kind of look we get. This is something that you can use your imagination with, and I'm sure some of y'all are going to do a much better job than I do. But I can at least give you an idea if you're not sure how to do this. And it gives you something to go by. I kind of follow the grain on some, and then we'll just streak it in. The more you rub it, you're, the more you're going to bring out the, uh, the ridges on it, the high spots. Those are going to get darker on you. And those, those are from the stainable primer when I pulled the grain on it that's raised a little bit. So you rub it, and you'll make those more prominent. See how that's coming out more? I want to do that for that knot. Now I'm going to rub this whole surface right here with a Carrington. This is a uh, reddish brown color. It's, it's a pretty, pretty color. I like it. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the whole thing. And I'll lightly rub this off. Well, that's some pretty cool looks. And I put one coat of spar varnish on here to give a nice glossy look. If I was to do a table or any type of real project, I would put at least two coats, possibly three. And what you do is sand in between those coats. The more coats you put on here, the deeper it's going to look. And you just lightly sand it with 400 grit sandpaper in between coats and you'll get a really nice look. All right. I hope this was helpful. You can do tables, lamps, anything you want with this type of stuff. Stainable primer really helps out a lot, but you don't need it. You can always use just paints to do some of this. But the stainable primer will allow you to have that grain look that's heavier than what you would get with paint. So you can, it, it raises it up because it has wood in it. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next project. And don't forget to subscribe.